Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, I am B from 4A. So, in this uh, video, I would like to summarize for what we have learned before in chapter 1, chapter 2 and chapter 3 for PAD 253. So, uh, in chapter 1, we have learned uh, about the concept of uh, quality and also the concept of total quality where uh, quality means uh, doing the right thing right uh, for the first time and always striving for improvement while the total quality means um, a continuous improvement that involves everybody and effort from everyone. We also discuss uh, about the quality from the Islamic perspective where in Islam uh, it is believed that our character is based on uh, our intention. And last for this chapter is the key elements of uh, total quality. So there are 11 key elements of total quality, uh, including the teamwork, uh, unity of purpose. Moving on to chapter two. Okay, in this chapter, uh, we discuss about the gurus and scholars. There are quite a number uh, of scholars in this chapter, including the William Fleming, uh, Joseph Moses, and Paras Rahman. So I would like to touch a little bit uh, on Deming cycle uh, in this chapter. So there are four stages uh, of Deming cycle, and the first stage is plan. So in planning stage, we need to come up with uh, objective or goals or target uh, that we wanted to achieve uh, customer satisfaction. For example, uh, we wanted to increase uh, the level of satisfaction in services. So, when we uh, we have planned, we need uh, to go to the second step, which is uh, do. So, we need to do it as planned. And once we done it, we need to check, which is the third stage. Check our performance, either uh, it is meet our target and objective or not. And if it is not, we need to take a corrective action, which lay under the fourth step. So, uh, in chapter 3, we learn about the total quality management concept. Also, the implementation of uh, total quality management concept in public sector. And basically, uh, we also learn uh, the history of total quality management, the features, uh, the principle of total quality management in public sector, including teamwork, uh, performance uh, measurement, KPI, and so on. Also, uh, the... Uh, implementation approaches that need to be avoided in uh, public sector. So that's all from me. Thank you.